Hello friends, I have come up with a new video on mutual compensation in transmission lines. When we are talking about mutual compensation, that means we are talking about AC system only. As we know, mutual induction is a phenomena that is being seen in AC systems only, not in DC. In AC transmission system, the power is transmitted from one place to another by using three phase systems in general. So when we talk about a transmission line, that means it consists of three phases. Now if we are talking about mutual induction, that means there would be two transmission lines running parallelly because of which there would be some induced voltage on one line because of the other line. Now if we consider this picture, on the right hand side there we can see there are three conductors which are fastened to the towers by using the insulators. These three conductors are consisting of one circuit if we say it as circuit one and similarly on the other side again there would be three conductors fastened to the towers using insulators these three conductors consist of another circuit that is we can say it as circuit two when these two set of circuits will be put together in service because of alternating current effect there will be mutual induction in one circuit because of the other circuit. Because of the mutual induction, the electrical parameters of both the circuits changes to some extent from their original behavior if they were run individually or they were not run parallelly. So for protection of such parallel lines, the complexity increases. To compensate this mutual induction component, there is some special arrangement available in the relay which is used for compensating this mutual induction. So let us see how this special connection or the special arrangement is done in the relay to compensate this mutual induction component. This is a relay connection drawing for MICOM P442 relay. Here connection of two P442 relays have been shown which are already mutually compensated. We know CT secondary are always star connected after the relay but here we can see the star connection is not directly given rather star point is routing through the compensation coil of the other P442 relay. If the transmission lines were individual circuit that is if they were not parallel circuits then there should have been the connection as shown in red ink. Because of the compensation connection, the present connection is as this, as shown in the red ink. Similarly for the other circuit also, because of the compensation connection, the modification in the circuit has become like this. Now we will see what is the difference if the circuits were individual circuits, that means if the circuits were not parallel circuits, then what could have been the connection. Here we can see there are two P442 relay connection diagram where connection has not been made. So if the circuits are individual circuit then if we name them as circuit 1 and circuit 2 how we can do relay connection for these two circuits. For individual transmission line or single circuits the relay connection would be like this as shown in red ink and as in such individual circuits there is no mutual induction so the mutual compensation circuit or the component of the relay would be shorted <coughs> similarly for the other relay also the connection would be like this for the CT secondary connection and also the mutual compensation component of the relay friends if you like my video please like share and also comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel to get new interesting videos on these topics.